speaking of trilobites, I told you we were going to get back to trilobites. Um, trilobites are arthropods, arthro meaning joint, pod meaning foot. Uh, they're a phylum of invertebrates that include living animals like insects and spiders and lobsters. Uh, trilobites no longer exist today, but they were very, very common in the, in the Cambrian. Uh, trilobites lived in the ocean. They were able to swim in the water and also crawl on the seafloor. And their name, trilobites, comes from them being composed of three segments, tri meaning three. Notice they've got that uh, central spine and then two lobes on either side. Okay. Um, so following their appearance and their ev evolution in the early Cambrian, trilobites really exploded and proliferated in terms of body shape. Uh, notice all, there are plenty of examples of different body shapes here. I've showed you some of them. Notice that sometimes the spines grow upwards, sometimes the spines grow outwards, sometimes they are straight and pointy, sometimes they start to spiral. Um, so they really had their heyday in the Cambrian. Near the end of the Cambrian, the trilobites started to decline in diversity. Um, we think this was because sea level was falling, their habitat, the habitat continental sea was um, decreasing in area. There were some trilobite survivors into the late Cambrian, um, and they did start to evolve again during the Ordovician and into the late Devonian, um, where there were more extinction events. So only a few survivors made it all the way into the Carboniferous, but by the end of the late Permian, Finally, all of them went extinct. Um, now, even though they eventually went extinct, they uh, were not biological failures at all. They were actually very, very successful. They lived and evolved for more than 300 million years. This is a lot longer than most organisms um, can survive on our planet. This is way longer than humans have been around on our planet. Right? So even though organisms eventually go extinct, it does not mean they were not successful for a very long time while they were here. All right, um, so a little bit more about trilobites. Most of them, as I said, were bottom dwellers. They lived in the shallow sea, um, and they provide uh, really important evidence of plate tectonics. Right? So during the Paleozoic, Europe and North America were separated by a wide ocean. Right? This was before um, Pangaea was formed. Okay. Uh, so they were separated by an ocean. It wasn't the Atlantic Ocean yet. The Atlantic Ocean didn't exist yet, um, but it was an ocean separating them. And trilobites lived on the east coast of North America and on the west coast of what is now Europe. Right? So they were very different when they lived very far apart. And then through time, as this ocean closed and these trilobites came together, these different communities became closer to each other, started to intermingle, started to live in the same type of environment and started to evolve to look like each other. So we see evidence of a closure of that ocean because we start off with very different trilobites that live very far apart from each other. And then they get more similar, more similar, more similar as those communities get closer together and start to in intermingle in a similar environment, right? So this was evidence of plate convergence. Trilobites were not the only really cool arthropods around at the time, um, and not all of the arthropods lived in the sea. Some of them actually um, lived on land, evolved to live on land. Um, some of these include centipedes, millipedes, uh, the earliest spiders, uh, coal swamps of the Pennsylvanian period have wings and wingless insects, including dragonflies, scorpions, cockroaches, up to 10 centimeters long. These cockroaches were huge, um, but they were not as big as the largest insect known, which was the giant dragonfly. This giant dragonfly had a wingspan of 60 centimeters. Okay? Um, so like the size of a dog, large dog. <laughs> um, these creatures were wild, very, very larger, <laughs> very much larger than they are today. Okay. 